If I asked you to name a sport where you had to run, jump, be able to catch a pass and intercept, you'd likely name football. You would likely be wrong. The sport is Frisbee, or should I say ultimate Frisbee. No, there are no Joe Montanas or refrigerators or Gary Clarks in this game, but that doesn't mean it's not a serious sport. Bruce Geetson reports. Now, this all began 18 years ago in New Jersey and spread quickly across the rest of the nation. It's called ultimate, as in the greatest, you know, totally awesome. Just feel each other's energy right now, man. Circus. In case you couldn't guess, Circus. that team is Circus. from the West Coast, Circus. San Francisco Circus. to be exact. Circus. The attitude, I think, of the West Coast la-di-da yeah. comes from the early origins of Frisbee being long hair, counterculture, on the beach. But this game is played on a 120-yard by 40-yard area, a tad smaller than a football field. It resembles rugby, but you can't run with the ball or disc. You have to pass it to teammates who must maintain a pivot foot or be called for traveling. Each catch in the end zone is worth one point. 21 points is a win, and there's not supposed to be any physical contact. More so than most other sports, ultimate is a gentleman's game. Players are supposed to call their own fouls, and most of the time, that works. When it doesn't, one of these guys, called an observer, is asked to settle the dispute. And in a game of this caliber, there are a lot of disagreements. When you're on the field, you're, complete, you're competing on two planes. You're having the physical game, which is how well can you throw, how well can you run, how well can you catch. But you're also competing on a moral plane. How well can I control my actions? How honest can I be? Am I in or out of bounds? Miami and Penn State might argue, but this was the ultimate national championship. Flying Circus, the guys from San Francisco in black, were the defending champions. The other team is from Chicago and appropriately called Windy City. Yeah. We've done it before, we're going to throw it again! Yeah. Yeah. They won the national title in 83, and they did do it again. With a lot of disc movement, crisp passes, a high level of intensity, and yes, that quality all coaches love, good defense. When you prevent a team from completing a pass, it's a turnover. No, there's a lot of strategies. We play four or five different types of defense. Well, needless to say, this is a lot more than just tossing a Frisbee around. These guys practice a lot. Everybody here has special, specially developed hand-eye coordination, and those that are truly gifted, can they're magicians. The Windy City won this game and the title, 21 to 13. But winning isn't everything to these folks. What appeals to you about this sport? Uh, that I play it. This is Bruce Geetson <laughs> reporting. <laughs>